This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Mason, you son of the mask. We're back to talk about Son of the Mask. Oh, you got me already. I love it. So last week we talked about The Mask, a movie I do not like and probably received a lot of flack for, and a movie that you thought was not without its charm and horniness. Speaking of a movie that is is not with its charm, sure, but still a little bit of horniness, plenty of horniness, I'll be honest. In a way, yeah. Folks, if you're looking for a movie that features uh, a series of nut shots, <laughs> uh, a veritable torrent of piss, <laughs> uh, you're, you're in for a treat with Son of the Mask, a movie which I had not seen, no. uh, and, uh, and bo- boy, has it changed my view on things? I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely altered some of my brain chemistry. Uh, leave a like if you could, because we are talking about, of course, the, the much anticipated, but also... By the time this kind of went into... By pro- who? Creeps? <laughs> perverts? <laughs> yeah, but I th- think also by the time this went into production and more information came out out and more information came out about it, nobody was interested in another kind of Jim Carrey minus Jim Carrey sequel. No, there's already been a couple of those, haven't there? Or yeah. maybe there hadn't. Maybe Evan Almighty wasn't out at this point at various <laughs> others. But famously, Jim Carrey said, look, I I'm not coming back for this after Ace Ventura 2. He was like, I don't want to do any more sequels. That has obviously changed since then. So, you know, off the back of that, we get a great cast. We've got uh, Bob Hoskins. I meant to write Tiny Little Odin, but I wrote Tony Little Odin, which is fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, Alan Cumming, who I genuinely think is pretty good in this. Bob Hoskins is in this. He's Odin. Is he? (laughs) Probably should have looked up the cast before we started this. Ah, don't worry about it. Uh, Stephen Wright, Cal Penn, there's some names in it. but in Some people you thought maybe were from the Australian uh, uh, teen drama series Heartbreak High. Sure. It actually turned out they were from the Australian TV drama series Head Start. Uh, Easy mistake to yeah, make. Yeah, 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 yeah. You mean one of the stars of The Wannabes? Not Drazik is what I'm saying. <laughs> Not, Not Drazik from Heartbreak High. I love Drazik. Right? Yeah. He's been in so many... He's in a DC movie <laughs> and a Marvel movie. Not many people get that. That's right. Yeah. And here's the thing. When when this movie came out, you mentioned the, the, you know, the loss of goodwill from the previous movie. I think the reason I didn't go to see this at the cinemas, having, you know, really enjoyed the last one, mm. uh, was because it was like, oh, they were introducing a baby, yeah. et cetera. And having watched this, I do respect what this movie was trying to do, which is make a buck by riding on the coattails of a better movie. But <laughs> the other thing that I do respect that it was trying to do was it was trying to do like a Wiley e. Coyote versus the yes. Road Runner, but in live action. The problem with this movie is it takes almost an hour to get to yep. that, and there is so much filler in at the start, yeah. and it's just we have you know obviously because the son of the mask, we have to get another mask. Got to get you know, him a, in there. A, a big a big head is is yeah. what the character was originally called. Uh, and Jamie Kennedy is not as good. <laughs> no, he's not. And I w- and I want to talk about the casting of him. In particular, but yeah, that element of the baby versus the dog—it's a good idea, yeah, genuinely. And I think it's one of those things where they've done it in like a cats and dogs movie, and, and, and probably yeah. a look who's talking and whatever. Like it's a tried and true thing that if you did this hyper amplified kind of universe, then yeah, this this could work. But like you said, it's it's there's not enough of that. Yeah, and, this, and the special, even the special effects of the time were pretty pretty good. And would yeah. have, you know, if they'd done an hour of that, just an hour of effect shots of a of a maniacal devil baby <laughs> fighting a maniacal devil dog, yeah. I would have been happy with that. But yeah, the the it's it's a combination of you know, it's not Jim Carrey, obviously. Yep. The voice that Jamie Kennedy uses for the mask what is that feels like old Elvis. Yeah, and you know what it felt like to me. Mm-hmm. You know that really tall guy who gets out of the tiny car in The Simpsons. Yes, and he's like. This was the most expensive car I could have bought. Whatever you know, it's that. Yeah, it's yeah. like, hello, everybody. I'm here at the party. I wonder if it's oh, and there's a party. <laughs> my goodness. The one thing, the, the, my my feeling is maybe that either one of two things. Either he didn't want to do maniacal Jim Carrey yeah, which voice. You can't. You shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. But also, I wonder if it's a, it it could also be the fact that the mask, like the physical mask, was a lot cheaper. And if he did attempt some like big expressions ah. and be, like the mask would literally just tear off his face. Yeah. And they're like, don't don't emote too hard in this movie about a character who is, you know, has an absolute rubber face. Don't do that because it will it will tear and we'll, we've only got we've only got the money for one. That's really interesting because I think yeah, one of the things that this movie lacks is the movement and physicality of Jim Carrey because this has the dance numbers. But yeah. But like it's not even It has the worst dance yeah, number. It's not even close. Like it's so far and again, I'm not a fan of the first movie, but the physicality of Jim Carrey and the dancing and the stunt people they get in to kind of fill in the the more spinny spinny stuff mm-hmm. and whatever yeah. that all works. But he's just got this 
giant fucking terrifying grin on the entire time. Yeah. And yeah, I, I that didn't occur to me, but he doesn't emote and the hair doesn't help because it's just kind of locked into his fucking head. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's horrible. So the plot of this one basically is that there is a, a, a couple. Yep. Um, one is a regular normal human woman <laughs> and one is a uh, playing a Game Boy Advance in the car man child. <laughs> yes. Uh, and the, the wife wants a, wants a baby. Yep. And she shouldn't with this man because no. again he's not driving the car. He's sitting in the he's sitting in the passenger seat, just just so close to his face. Right. Get some glasses. Anyway, uh, he uh, needs to go to a costume party. Yeah. Uh, so he finds a mask. Yep. He puts on the mask. He becomes the mask. Uh, and then um, later that evening, <laughs> he um, he um, fills his wife with mask sperm. Is what happens. Yeah, that's a whole sequence, isn't it? It's a it's a I've just written here. It's it's a nightmare of a film. And it's just the just like seeing that imagery, and also the fact that like he comes back and the lights go off, and she doesn't recognize that he's changed into the mask. But what you didn't you didn't notice his screaming, spinning dick coming at you, or whatever, or whatever <laughs> would have been going on there. <laughs> but I wanted to say he he also works at like an animation company. Yes. He's like uh, he's 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 in the mascot role. Yeah. Uh, but he wants to become you know one of the uh, one of the real you know big time animators uh so he has to impress at the office party sure uh which is the worst it's it's the worst office party yeah it's 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 i mean it, it wasn't it wasn't good and he didn't fix it well that's the thing he does like, a rap though doesn't he he gets up there and he does what i consider to be maybe the cringiest musical number in movie history but it's also <laughs> Not even that much better than what anybody else was doing. Like he's got magical powers yeah. and he can do anything, but his like performance is not much worse than it's 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 not really any better than what no. anybody else was doing. No, it's really not. And you'd be like, this guy sucks, <laughs> and he's wearing a weird mask. <laughs> and the other thing he is, hasn't improved the night at all. <laughs> they also know who he is mm. because one of the big things about the first movie is it's like, who is this guy in the green mask, like rubber banding around? But here they're like, great job at the party last night, mate. And it's like, I can't tell who that is. Like, I know that's Jamie Kennedy, <laughs> but I still can't tell that that's him. Yeah. It's, it's very bizarre. But okay, so this is this is the line of thinking for casting because they initially went Jack Black, who turned it down, which. Okay. Quite frankly, I think could do something School of Rock esque, definitely with this. Yeah, but also good work. You didn't do it. This, the, the, I, this was pointed out. I saw a tweet about this that suggested that uh, Jack Black is the only person you could see him in any situation, and it wouldn't surprise you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'd see. I'd, I'd definitely watch him in a mask sequel. He'd be, he'd be great in that. He'd but. do a killer musical number yeah. as well. Yeah, uh, Marlon Wayans was considered along with Matthew Lillard and Ryan Reynolds. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but Jamie Kennedy though he, he was, he was, was there. He was there. Mm -hmm. Well, he he was kind of you know he was big off scream. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, he was in as well. He, was, he also had the Jamie Kennedy experiment. So off the back of this, like he wasn't sure whether he was going to do it or not. And he, he tells a story on his YouTube channel how he met with Jim Carrey. And he was like, I'm thinking about doing this, but you know, I, I, I kind of, it's, it's a very iconic role that you took on. And I, I won't do it if you say don't do it. And Jim Carrey was like, no, you should do it. Go have fun with it. So and then he was like, you just got Jim Carrey. <laughs> I've got my own reality <laughs> prank show. I tricked you into doing this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a, it was initially offered one million. You got carried <laughs> to an embarrassing situation. <laughs> So he was initially offered $1 million for the first movie, uh -huh. five for the second, and Whoa. then 10 for the third. Whoa. He wasn't going to do it. Then they doubled the offer because they really went all out on this. The first one was like a $25 million movie. This was an 84 to $100 million movie. You say they went all out in this movie. No, budget-wise. But, budget but, but they did film in Australia. Yeah, oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, because And speaking of, it's funny you should say that because Jamie Kennedy reportedly hated his time in Sydney filming the movie, Hardly anyone recognised him in public. This is from IMDb, by the way. Mm -hmm. And he was repeatedly turned down by local women who had no idea who he was. Now, I've done a bit of digging on this, mm -hmm. so, we'll come back, <laughs> okay. so we'll come back to some uh, stuff I've found at the end, okay? Because I'm like, this might be just one of those things that's just thrown up by a local tabloid piece of shit Australian yeah, newspaper. Sure. Mm -hmm. Of which there are several. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we'll come back to okay, it. Okay, great. We'll get into it. Anyway, uh, uh, Jamie Kennedy, his wife, produces a son. Well, which... Not before having a, a, a nightmare about his wife just firing out a hundred babies. All of whom are vampires. <laughs> oh, they're all vampires. What, what traumatic experience did this man have in his life prior to this that he's like, if I get my wife pregnant, she'll have a hundred vampire babies. <laughs> and there's also new... Oh, no, this how I got pranked on a prank show. <laughs> there's also... The vampire babies. There's, there's, there's new rules to this universe, one of which being 
the mask, I guess, just works in the daytime because you see the dog. Because it only worked at night last time, yeah. Whatever, mm-hmm. it's fine, I don't care. There's mask sperm, as mentioned. Mm-hmm. And also, I feel like if you were capable of being fertile in, whilst wearing the mask, there'd be a million of these kids. They'd be everywhere. Because you're saying that the mask amplifies your natural tendencies yep. and most people's natural tendencies are super horny all the <laughs> yeah, time. Exa- apparently, at least... At least in, in this universe. The other thing that's not as good in this movie, yes. the dog Otis. Now, I hate to throw shade on a probably dead dog, mm-hmm. right? But Milo and Otis, it only just, only just <laughs> twigged now. There you go, yeah. yeah. But I feel like... You should this... have made one a cat then. <laughs> yes, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. Because this one kind of it balances and it, and it on stuff or balances stuff and like plays hockey, but there's no subtlety to it. Do you know what I mean? Right. I feel like the dog acting, and we talked about it in the last one. The dacting. The dacting. He's so this d- is redacting in a way. Yeah, he's doing like little, little you know, little turns of the heads and mm-hmm. nods and things like that that works. Also in this movie, it's two dogs. So ah. it's two dogs doing the job of one dog. Whoa. So, you know, you know. So in this instance, I'm glad they're both dead. <laughs> yes, in a way. I can't believe you're being critical of dog acting. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing their best for a little treat, James. I'm just saying it's too much. That's what I'm doing here. Just my best for a little treat. <laughs> uh, what do you think of the baby, though? I just wrote, I fucking hate that baby. What a nightmare. That baby has three dicks. <laughs> because there's a moment where it's pissing. The torrents of piss, yeah, and, then, yeah. and then it's like a giant like jet. I've written a note here that says, the baby is smart enough to fake his own death in an explosion, and you've got to respect that. Because <laughs> at one point he does. I've written here... <laughs> If it was a normal baby, Jamie Kennedy would have killed it with electricity because he tries to feed it a shattered light glow. Oh, yeah, I have a note here that says, hey, Jamie Kennedy, maybe don't glass your baby. (laughs) So I don't know if that's for the character or for the actor. I don't know. But even, yeah, because if that baby wasn't filled with mask sperm or however it was made. He would have stabbed it and electrocuted it. He would have electrocuted it, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, ugh. But, yeah. (laughs) Like you said, though, that idea of a jealous, Muttley-esque dog going up against a baby, that's like classic Warner Brothers whatever yeah. era. I know Muttley's not Warner Brothers. You know, <laughs> that era kind of stuff. And that, But then instead of getting that, we get stuff where Jamie Kennedy's wife finally arrives home and he beats her up. <laughs> and it's not like a trick. It's not Loki, who, by the way, is looking for the sons of the mask. Alan Cumming is Loki. Yep. I think he's... Pretty good despite the hair and the inexplicable American accent. Yes. Besides that, I think he's doing great in this. But and look, to Jamie Kennedy's credit as well, when he went into this, he was only supposed to wear the mask once and it wasn't supposed to be his movie. He was supposed to be the straight man. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe they went, we'll just kind of improv on the day because you're a comedic actor and we'll just kind of see what we get. And, and because also on on set, you know, on any given day, mm. there's really nothing, is there? Because it's mostly CG. So they would have been like, <laughs> they would have been sitting around like a, a pretty quiet nondescript set. And Sydney I th- basement. Exactly. And they would have just been like, hey, Jamie Kennedy, just mug for the camera, do some silly stuff, yeah. and we'll see if we can integrate it into the thing. So in a way, it's not his fault. Yeah, well, that's the thing. So yeah, I, th- I think the idea of a straight man works, but also that's not really, to me, who he is. Do you know what I mean? He is mm. this kind of larger-than-life kind of character actor kind of yeah, doing yeah. wacky stuff. He's always doing pranks and well, he was doing pranks. You know what I mean? Until he got Jim Carrey Until that got, time. That's right. Do you, know, you know, he's putting on prosthetics and doing stuff and voices, uh-huh. but here it's like, hello, I'm ready for <laughs> dance time. I'm the mask. Hello. Look at me. Oh, I'm... Now, what kind of wig am I wearing? What, who, who am I now? What do, you, what do you think? Ooh, is that the strains of the Cuban Peter Rumba? Don't remind people of a better movie in your bad movie. Don't do it. <laughs> Just to clarify, I don't think The Mask 1 is a good movie. I think it is a good movie. <laughs> uh, it also ends, uh, there's a final showdown where he has to fight Loki. Mm. And it's like a, it's a boxing match. And it also leads into like a cartoon off. And again, I like that idea of two characters with the infinite powers of The Mask going head to head, but it's it's nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that idea... There is a classic line there where uh, Jamie Kennedy does say to Loki, you can't fight me if you're locked in a trunk. <laughs> you know that classic expression? You can't fight me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's classic Jamie Kennedy stuff, maybe, yeah. isn't it? I yeah, think yeah. it is, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Do you want to hear about a deleted scene in this? Yes. Okay, so... I mean, uh, not really, but I'm a yes and guy. Okay, cool. Well, great, because th- here we go. Even if you said no, I would have just read this myself later. That's and true. You could have just cut a, you know, a clip of me saying yes and put it in later. I never would have known. Yes, I love Son of the Mask, That's I would right. get you to say. Yeah, I would have been... Mr. Sunday Movied, which <laughs> is your right. upcoming prank show. Uh, this is from Jamie Kennedy. We did a scene where Alan went to a pet shop to make a special potion. Alan being Jamie Kennedy's character's name? No, Alan being Alan uh, Cumming. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. And I play the Jamaican woman. I was in makeup for like five hours to become a 300-pound Jamaican woman. And Alan said, I need a parrot beak. And I'd be like, what you need a beak for? That's f- f- for that, that's not right. You need to buy the whole bird. It was a lot of funny stuff. Unfortunately, it got cut. Because of the blackface. I'd imagine so, yeah. I mean, you know, the blackface was... They were, they were still, they were yeah, still, people were loving it then. Yeah, yeah. and they'll yeah. still they'll still try and sneak it in to this day and be like, you guys just don't... You guys are just... You being, don't get it. You don't ca- get it. It's actually cancel funny. Cancel culture is actually... Because uh, we're allowed to do this because White Chicks was made. I don't know if you're aware of that. Because that, that, balances, that balances everything out. I don't know if you know that. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, unless you've got any more notes, which you might. Uh... I can then uh, launch into my um, that's true my there's expose. A, if there's you will. A, there's a moment where the baby is just uh, just on the floor in the living room in the middle of the night watching cartoons. Yep, and I'm assuming that Jamie Kennedy put the baby to bed and the and the kid got out of the crib on his own using his mask powers. But I also can't rule out that he just left the baby to fend for himself <laughs> yeah. like just overnight. Yep, you know? that's entirely possible. Yeah, because yeah. um, he wanted to play Game Boy Advance. Magda Zubanski is in this movie. She's in the, she turns into a big nose woman. Stra- Australian comedy legend Magda Zubanski, yep. also known as the wife of the farmer in Babe. And Babe 2 pig in the city. That's right. Yeah. She's in this for a minute. Yeah, so that's, that's cool. Right. I don't disagree. Yeah. do 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 do. Uh, no, that's about it. I did have a note from earlier. It says this baby is an actual monster and should be put down. <laughs> but uh, you can put that anywhere, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe I'll just add it up top. Yeah, I'll just put it right at the start of the video. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Okay, so on on his time filming in Australia, Jamie Kennedy spoke to a number of news outlets to uh, just kind of just kind of spin his wheels and talk yeah. about like. The, you know, being the mask and did being down to, under. Did he talk to Australian uh, uh, youth TV show Recovery? No, he didn't. Wow. Did he talk to Cheese TV? He didn't even talk to Richard Wilkins. Oh, my God. <laughs> what reputable news outlets are left then? Uh, we got Jay Leno for one. Okay. He said, uh, I love the Gold Coast. I love Brisbane. I love Melbourne. No arguments there, mate. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the but Gold Coast, bib. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But uh, there's some fumes coming off that mask, you know what I mean? It might just be, yeah. But he uh, he said, Sydney thinks it's Paris, but it's really Nebraska. That's what he told Canada's Toronto Star. And he said, first of all, clubs close at 2 a.m. That's too early. I don't disagree. That's kind of insane. But, I mean, uh, I'm not going to a club now. Like, sure, yeah, uh, It I'm doesn't not. affect me at all, but that is insane. Mm-hmm. Second of all, people drink excessive amounts of alcohol to the point of being blue in the face. Three, the guys shave their chests and are all pumped up. Who shaves their chest? It's not a service-orientated country. $15 an hour for a waiter, the guy is not going to want to get you the bread because he's like, I'm making more than you. In America, we tip, but I tipped everyone, and they were freaked out. I mean, it's called a livable wage, but fuck, whatever. There's a lot, of, lot to unpack there, but let's just leave it to let's just leave it to hang in the air, you know? Um, you can print this. I don't care, he said to one outlet. Oh, there's more. Sydney acts like it's not impressed by celebrity. Yes, they are. That's the funny thing. London is not impressed by celebrity. They don't care. Sydney acts like it isn't, but it is. And it goes out of its way to say, F you. Uh, but then Son of the Mask co-star, uh, Trailer Howard, who people might know also from me, myself and Irene and Two Guys and a Girl, mm-hmm. shows as such, says this could have been Kennedy's problem. Uh, he did not get recognised. I think he was so used to the ladies recognising him. I think it had a little bit to do with it. So, yeah. So, there you go. We, oh. we didn't get the Jamie Kennedy experiment here. The only thing I know of that show in Australia was I saw an interview on Oprah where he was talking about it. And he's like, we're doing situations. And Oprah's like, that's very funny. And, you know, that's, that's, my, exp- that's my Jamie Kennedy experiment. Wow. <laughs> in a way, yeah. <laughs> Successful experiments. <laughs> that being result, light entertainment. Here we go. Uh, that being said, he is currently retelling the entire story of how this movie came to be in multiple parts on his YouTube channel, and he hasn't gotten to this part about Sydney at the time of recording this, but he will. So he's going to tell his version of how many women turned him down. If you are, in, if you, if you, if you are so inclined to go over there and check it out, because I certainly will be. If you're, uh, if you're from, uh, if you're from Sydney and you're mm. one of the ladies that turned him down, 
Email in. <laughs> leave, leave something in the comments. We'd love to hear it. Leave whatever line he gave to you <laughs> in the comments. Uh, do you want a Runk update? Yes. <laughs> For those who are unfamiliar, Runk was a, was a person who won the competition through Nintendo Power to appear in The Mask 2, mm-hmm. right? And because that movie was on hold, it didn't end up happening, so he got a bunch of prizes and et cetera. So this is a slight update on that. He got to that. chat to the, uh, the, the uh, voice yeah. of Princess Peach. Exactly, yeah. Uh, the film is technically on hold, so Runk could have chosen the role of the money. This is just a bit of a recap. Mm. And merchandise. Uh, Runk, who was 12 at the time, chose the money and received $5,000, a film crew jacket, which he later lost. Update. Ooh, Can you believe it? And several Super Nintendo video games, including Pilot Wing 64 on Nintendo 64, Hmm. Someone needs to edit this. This is a mistake. I don't like this. This whole situation sounds very fishy. I'm pretty sure they just killed him and dumped <laughs> him in a gutter. Uh, what should we tell the press? <laughs> they're, 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 they're pushing him into a sewer grate. And they're like, what should we... Tell him we got a pilot week. Pilot week 64 on the Super <laughs> Nintendo. Ugh. Uh, he later claimed that it was absolutely the right call. And he's right. It was the right call. Yeah. But maybe he could have gone to Sydney also and got turned down in bars. Who knows? He could That's have lived right. that, that Hollywood lifestyle. Or he could have cut Jamie Kennedy's lunch every night. <laughs> the Runk's just cutting through, mate. That's right. Mate. The Runkatron. Well, maybe he's th- back, maybe. The Runk would only need to be a slightly better dancer and he'd do all right. You know what I, I mean? So, Which yeah. I think it's entirely possible he could be. Anyways, look. He's not one of those desperados out at 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> when the bar closes. <laughs> He's the Runkmeister. If he's not dead in a ditch. The Runkmeister, he's dead. He's dead though, isn't he? Yeah. So uh, this movie made $59 million. It was, it was a massive bomb, critical, commercial panning. Everybody hates this movie. It's, it's I actually a- thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's an interesting oddity though, I feel, it right? It really is, yeah. I can see all the lines of thinking. Like I can see why you would get Jamie Kennedy. I can see why you put the money into it. I can see the special effects. I can see certain ideas thinking that this would work. Yeah. But... Crap. Uh, Kerry, uh, Jim Carrey, though, well, I teased this last week, he, he might be open to a sequel. And we know this, of course, because uh, since the 90s, he has done a sequel to Dumb and Dumber. He wasn't in the prequel. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's, of course, doing Sonic 2. That's why right. Not, you know, why not? But uh, he spoke to comicbook.com in 2020, and he said, it depends on a filmmaker, really. I don't just want to do it to do it, but I would only do it if it was some crazy visionary filmmaker. Sure. So there you go. Darren Aronofsky's The Mask. Oh, my God. You, you, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah. You bloody would. Mm-hmm. It'd be about his father also. This would <laughs> be the right. real son, the son of the mask we deserve. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, this has been The Mask 1 and The Mask 2. Uh, if we get a Mask 3, we'll come back and, I don't know, we'll do the Thor movies. <laughs> Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's fine, right? It's all going to tie together, yeah. I yeah. Love it. Oh, man. What, what a time, though. And here at Caravan of Garbage, you might be like, I love it when you guys talk about movies that I've never bothered to watch. People love that, maybe. They love it. I yeah. mean, it doesn't reflect in the view count, but uh, <laughs> those, those few people that do watch, they're loving it. Exactly. So... Uh, if you do, though, head over to bigsandwich.co. Every one of these goes up early. Ben gets the edit done. He's like, here you go, James. And I say, thank you very much. And I put it up there. And he goes, does it up? And I'm like, I don't... That's, that's, that's my Settle concern. Settle down, Ben. Calm, Settle just down. calm your farm, Ben, God. I say to him. Wow. Uh, but also, there's a bunch of other stuff there if you do want to sign up, including early podcasts, including movie commentaries, just a bunch of stuff going on there, including uh, an early version of our podcast, The Weekly Planet, which normally comes out Monday, which is going to be coming out. Sunday there. Nice. So there you go. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching this. I didn't say leave a like, so leave a like. But you're not here. You've already gone. That's okay. It's not your fault. Son of the mask. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Son of the mask. That'll that'll make people switch off. <laughs> All right. Uh, grab that jam, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Did I say leave a like? Can't remember. I'll say it here and I'll put it up top. Nice. Now, there's, gonna, now there's gonna be hundreds of leaves a like. I hope so. Yeah. Hey everybody. They're like attorneys general. <laughs> <laughs> leaves a like. Leaves a like. Hey everybody, I think I forgot to say this. Leave a like. Uh, this is from later, but now it's in here. It's it's fine. It's it's more for it's from just do it. Fuck. Just do it. We watch Son of the Mask. Just do it. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.